How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If Or if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Uh, today, we're going to be continuing the Halloween Spooktacular Extravaganza with episode 18 and episode 4 of Originals and Remakes Week. And today, we're just going to be talking about a remake today because I've only ever seen the remake, uh, believe it or not. But today, we're going to be talking about The Thing from 1982, directed by John Carpenter. So let's get into the background of this film. As I said, uh, The Thing was uh, released in 1982, directed by John Carpenter, and stars Kurt Russell and Keith David, and uh, this follows the story of, in the winter of 1982, a 12-man research team at a remote Antarctic research station discovers an alien buried in the snow for over 100,000 years. Soon unfrozen, the form-changing creature wreaks havoc, creates terror, and becomes one of them. I think the best way to describe the thing is that it is one of the most paranoia-fueled films ever. It is such a fantastic paranoia thriller horror film with absolutely amazing performances. Uh, Kurt Russell gives probably the best performance he's ever given in this film, and also just... Um, amazing effects in this film as well john carpenter he's just kind of the master of horror uh and i think most people would agree he's a fantastic director like no question about it and this film proves no different and it's just wild that this film was so it was such a financial and critical bomb when it came out that it is wild to me that you know it's become just like such a cult classic at this point um really really proves that john carpenter is like the master of horror uh these movies that when they came out weren't successful but over time grew popularity um just because you know john carpenter's name was attached to it and <clears throat> it is a really really great story uh like you know both behind the scenes and you know in front of the camera uh it's a fantastic you know just a paranoia story uh, about these you know research researchers that um in, in antarctica where it's lonely no one can hear you scream uh and they're just being picked off one by one by this creature that can take the form of anyone and anything so you know like there's so many scenes involving just you know these tension-filled scenes where they're trying to figure out who's who and who the thing is and it's just really really effective in building just such high tension high paranoia and leaves in a, like leaves off in such a, a great way where you don't even know who the thing was by the end like you know it's just by the point you don't you don't know if they've killed the thing you don't know if um you know if if it's still alive if it took the place of you know uh kurt russell or keith david like it's a it's still a debate going on to today that you know it's such a, a cool way to end the story where it's just really really effective and not answering so many questions and leaves you open-ended i really really love that and honestly I don't really have any complaints regarding this movie, man. Like, it's such a well-told story um, regarding, you know, like, the direction is fantastic, the performances are amazing, um, the tension building, the effects, the, like, production design, everything about this film is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it just still baffles me to this day that this film was such a financial and critical bomb that, you know, even... At the end, by the end of the '80s, it picked up so much popularity, and um, you know, it was it was a movie that almost put John Carpenter out of his career, and it's held up to this day as such a classic film. It just is wild to think about it that way. So, in all, I think the thing from 1982 is a perfect film. Uh, flawless filmmaking, flawless storytelling, uh, f amazing performances. I absolutely love this film and if you have somehow never seen the thing go do yourself a favor check it out uh, i believe it's on peacock if you want to go watch it for the first time if you haven't or if you've already seen it go watch it again because it is just that damn good so if you guys have seen the thing from 1982 let me know your thoughts down below in the comments do you love it do you not like it like you know roger uh you know like roger ebert didn't back in the day uh 
but yeah, if you guys do, uh, if you guys do like this one, I'm here with you. I think it's amazing. Uh, so yeah, um, if you guys like this video, make sure to like the video. And if you're new here, uh, make sure to subscribe so you can watch more of these uh, horror content videos, these uh, you know spectacular extravaganza episodes uh, for the rest of the month. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys tomorrow.